Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you today? I'm great. Oh, yeah, you're great. Okay. So, how was uh, everything? Is it great? Yeah, it's great. Okay. Have you seen this? Who is this in the picture? Teacher Anne. That's Teacher Anne. Teacher Anne is wearing uniform. That's Teacher Anne. Okay. It's in the picture. That's Teacher Anne. Okay. Oh, that's my name there. It's Teacher Anne. Okay. 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 So for now, Ken Ken. Okay. Teacher will share you the screen. We're going to have lis listening test now. You listen to teacher. You have to answer. Well, teacher is happy. Oh, are you eating? You're eating? You're done eating? You're done eating? Finished? Okay. What did you eat? Eat. I don't know. Okay. Did you eat pasta? Spaghetti. You like spaghetti? No. Oh, you don't like... Oh, is that... Good evening. Is that your mom? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> oh. oh, there's a picture. No camera. Okay. Ah, your mom is beautiful. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Oh, Ken Ken, look at teacher and Kin Ken has the same blouse. Look at Strife. Yeah, we have Strife's. Oh, yeah, teacher and Ken Ken. Uh, the same. <laughs> oh, what's that? Okay, listen now. Okay, teacher will have the. Okay, listen. This one. Okay, I will have the tests for a listening test. Okay, where is it? Okay, it's here. Cô nói nhỏ quá cô ạ. Cô cô làm tiếng nhỏ quá cô ạ. Your mom is beautiful, Ken Ken. Your mom is. Cô ơi, cho tiếng to lên. Your mom is pretty. What is that? Yeah. What happened to your sister? Uh, your brother? Why your brother is seems your brother is sad? Okay. Teacher. Yeah, can you see me Teacher. now? Yeah, okay. Now, can, can you, you listen? You say it out loud. You say it out loud. Oh. I can, don't hear anything. Oh, you didn't hear, teacher? Wait for a while. Oh, it's here. Okay, can, can. Can, can. Okay, now can you listen to teacher? Teacher will have the screen now. Okay, you say teacher it out loud. will see. You say it out loud. Oh yeah, I understand. I understand. Okay. You say it. Out loud. Listen. Let us start now. Okay, you listen carefully as teacher will going to have the listening test. Okay, I miss having listening test with you. We are already in twelve. Dash A. Yeah. As you can see in the pictures, what have oh sorry Ken. Sorry, Ken, sorry, Ken. What have you seen in the picture? What wait for I cannot move this Ken just a minute. Okay. What have you seen in the picture, Ken? I see a girl with a snowball and a boy. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's a snowman. Okay. Do you like to make a snowman like this? Do you like no, it? No. I like to play snowball, snowball, 
Ah, yeah. Okay. And also, you like, oh, look at the girl. And they are riding in a sledge. Oh, teacher Anne wants to ride in a sledge. I want to ride in a sledge. I want to ride in a sledge. I want to ride in a sledge. Okay. This is what teacher Anne. Teacher Anne wants to ride in a sledge. Okay. But Ken Ken want to play a snowball. I want to play a snowball. I want to play a snowball. And the baby wants to play the snowman. And the baby wants to play the snowman. And the baby wants to play the snowman. Okay. Everybody enjoy the snow. Okay. Yes. Yes. My little brother's name is Potato. Potato. Oh. Potato wants to play a snowman. Potato wants to play a snowman. Okay. Where is Potato? Where is Potato? Potato. Potato. Okay. Potato wants to play a snowman. Okay. Here. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Okay. Here. Now, Tom. Teacher, uh, Tom, can can't. Teacher wants to play and wants you to write the answer. Ready, can can? Are you ready, potato? Who is yeah. Potato? Wait, who is potato? Yeah. <laughs> potato, 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 potato. Hi, potato. Hi. You have the same dress with teacher. Look at stripe. Oh, okay. Just leave potato. That is potato. And you are, what's your name? You are carrot? Potato. Potato. Kwan. Uh, okay. You are Kwan and that is potato. Okay. And my name is teacher carrot. <laughs> Okay, you listen carefully now because Teacher Carrot will play the audio listening to Kwan and to Potato. Listen. Part one. Lesson listen Kwan. and look. There is one example. I'm looking for Harry. Where is he? He's standing near the tree with snow on his head. Yes. Some snow's just fallen on his head. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And which girl is Emma? She's sitting on a sledge with a dog. That's right. Look at David. What's he doing? He's making the biggest snowman in the world. Where's Patch? She's skiing down the hill. Oh yes, she's good, isn't she? Peter's very strong. Why? What's he doing? He's pulling that sledge. Look at Helen. Where is she? There, look. She's throwing snowballs at the snowman. Oh, yes. One's just hit the snowman's head. Now listen to part one again. And which girl is Emma? She's sitting on a sledge. With a dog? That's right. Look at David. What's he doing? He's making the biggest snowman in the world. Where's Patch? She's skiing down the hill. Oh yes, she's good, isn't she? Peter's very strong. Why? What's he doing? He's pulling that sledge. Look at Helen. Where is she? There, look. She's throwing snowballs at the snowman. Oh, yes. One's just hit the snowman's head. That is the end of part one. Okay. 
can't. Can't, can't. Yes. Okay, did you listen it? Yes. Are you sure? Did you listen it or no? I want to go poo poo. Okay, did you listen it or no? You want to listen it again? Okay, one more. Oh, you want to poo or you poo first? Okay, because teacher has another class after this one. Finish. Okay, first, for, okay, you listen now. Le Ken, where are you going? Hi, baby. Lita. Oh, you poop, cow. You faster, you poop, you poop. I can't faster. You poop now, faster. You still have a class. Hi, baby. Good evening. Good evening. I am finished. Let's go. Okay, you listen this one. You listen, you listen. Oh, you sit down now. Sit down. Okay. You tell me where are. Okay, you make a lines now. Okay, draw the lines. Okay. Part one. Listen. Listen and look. There is one example. I'm looking for Harry. Where is he? He's standing near the tree with snow on his head. Yes. Some snow's just fallen on his head. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And which girl is She's sitting on a sledge with a dog. That's right. Look at David. What's he doing? He's making the biggest snowman in the world. Where's Pat? She's skiing down the hill. Oh yes, she's good, isn't she? Peter's very strong. Why, what's he doing? He's pulling that sledge. Look at Helen. Where is she? There, look. She's throwing snowballs at the snowman. Oh yes. One's just hit the snowman's head. Now listen to part one again. And which girl is Emma? She's sitting on a sledge with a dog. That's right. Look at David. What's he doing? He's making the biggest snowman in the world. Where's Pat? She's skiing down the hill. Oh yes, she's good, isn't she? Peter's very strong. Why, what's he doing? He's pulling that sledge. Look at Helen. Where is she? There, look. She's throwing snowballs at the snowman. Oh yes. One's just hit the snowman's head. That is the end of part one. Okay, so now... Okay, now Kent, look at this one. Okay, so where is Emma? Emma is the girl on the sledge with a dog. Okay, on the sledge with a dog. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is Emma oh, with a dog. Where is David? The boy is making a snowman. Okay. The biggest snowman in the world. Yeah, this is David, the one making a snowman, the biggest snowman. Okay, where is Pat? Girl in skiing. The girl in skiing. Oh, this is Pat, the girl. How about Peter? Where is Peter? Pulling the sled. Okay, this is Peter. Peter is quite strong. He tried to pull the sledge. He is very strong and can. How about Helen? Where is Helen? Throw. Where is Helen? Throw the ball up to snowman. Oh, very good. This is Helen. Helen is the girl who threw the snowball. Ching! 
it's Helen. Okay, very good. Very good. Your score is 5 over 5. Look at this one. Very good. Quan, 5 over 5. That's very good. Okay. Yay. Good job, Ken. That's very good. Okay. Next one here. Now, you listen this. You listen to teacher. Listen this. This is about Sue Clark. You listen. I will measure how good you are. How smart is Ken Ken? Okay. Let us see if you are smart. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Okay, listen. Hello, Sue. I'm a journalist. I'm going to do a program about jobs. Can I ask you some questions, please? Yes, of course. What's your surname? Clark. Is that C L A R K? That's right. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. And what do you do, Sue? What's your job? I'm an artist. Do you paint pictures? No, I'm not that kind of artist. I make things. Oh, I see. So if you don't paint, what do you make things with? Sometimes I use metal, but I prefer making things with wood. I see. Hmm. Now, can you tell me about your day, Sue? Do you start work early? Yes, I do. I work from 7 o'clock in the morning until midday. So you have to get up early then. And where do you like to work? I do all my work in the basement. It's nice and quiet there. Did you make these things here? They're lovely. Yes. And this is my favourite. Oh, a music box. Yes. And if you turn the key, it plays a song. Now listen to part two again. And what do you do, Sue? What's your job? I'm an artist. Do you paint pictures? No, I'm not that kind of artist. I make things. Oh, I see. So, if you don't paint, what do you make things with? Sometimes I use metal, but I prefer making things with wood. I see. Now, can you tell me about your day, Sue? Do you start work early? Yes, I do. I work from 7 o'clock in the morning until midday. So you have to get up early then. And where do you like to work? I do all my work in the basement. It's nice and quiet there. Did you make these things here? They're lovely. Yes. And this is my favourite. Oh, a music box. Yes. And if you turn the key, it plays a song. <coughs> it is the end of part two. Okay. Okay. Okay, Kent. Okay, Kwan. Can you answer now or one more? You want to hit lesson again? Yeah. Okay. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Sue. I'm a journalist. I'm going to do a program about jobs. Can I ask you some questions, please? Yes, of course. What's your surname? Clark. Is that C-L-A-R-K? That's right. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. And what do you do, Sue? What's your job? I'm an artist. Do you paint pictures? No, I'm not that kind of artist. I make things. Oh, I see. So, if you don't paint, what do you make things with? Sometimes I use metal, but I prefer making things with wood. I see. Now, can you tell me about your day, Sue? Do you start work early? Yes, I do. I work from 7 o'clock in the morning until midday. So you have to get up early then. And where do you like to work? I do all my work in the basement. It's nice and quiet there. Did you make these things here? They're lovely. Yes. And this is my favourite. Oh, a music box. Yes, and if you turn the key, it plays a song. Okay. Now listen to part two again. Okay, so Kent, what's the family name of Sue? Sue, what's the name, family name? Sue? Clark, what's the job of Sue? It's an artist. Very good, Ken Ken. Make things with Metal and what? One. Oh, very good, Ken Ken. He start or she starts work at what time? At 7 p.m. Okay, it's 7 a.m. What is the place at work? 
Where does Sue work? Where? The bank money. Okay, very good, Ken Ken. Love, love, teacher. Very good. What's the favorite thing of Sue? Music box. Music box. Yeah. Wow, well, very good. Why you are very smart? You're very smart every day, Ken Ken. Quan, you're very smart every day, Quan. Okay, wow. That's why teacher loves Ken Ken because Quan is very smart. Now, you listen and write the letter in the box. You tell me what is the correct answer. You listen, okay? Okay. I know you're very good of this. I know it. And I always teach, and teacher always believes Ken. Ken, Part ready? Three. Listen and look. There is one example. Jim's mom went shopping and bought lots of presents for her friends. What did she buy for each person? Where did you go today, Mum? I went shopping in town, Jim. I wanted to buy some presents for my friends at work. You know Tony? Yes. Well, I, I got him a belt. He'll like that. It wasn't expensive, but it's very nice. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter yeah, in each box. It's nice that day. You can hear that. That's it was difficult to choose something for Betty. So, did you buy her something? Yes, I found a nice scarf in the big it? shop next to the park. She'll like that, I'm sure. She likes going to football matches at the weekends. She can wear it there. Then I went to the bookshop to find something for Richard. He helps me a lot at work. Does he? Yes. I wanted to get him a new diary, but they didn't have any nice ones. Then I found this dictionary and thought, that's a good idea. So I bought that. And you met Sarah last week? Yes. Did you get something for her too? Yes. She loves skiing. So I found some great gloves for her. They're a lovely dark blue colour. Then I went to the music shop. What did you buy there? Well, I wanted to get Robert a CD of some guitar music. He loves that. But I couldn't find one that I liked. I was going out of the door when I saw another one. I stopped to look at it, then decided to listen to it. It was great, so I bought that one for him. What else did you buy? I needed something for Lucy. I got a torch. It's not very exciting, but I couldn't find anything else. I thought about a video before that, but I don't think she watches those now. But why are you buying all these presents, Mum? Because on Monday, I'm starting a new job. And I have to leave all my friends at work. Now listen to part three again. It was difficult to choose something for Betty. So did you buy her some? Hello, Quan. Hello, Quan. Hello, Quan. Hello, Quan. Okay. Again, Quan. One, one more. Or you know the answer already? Can you tell me the answer? Sarah. Okay. Sarah is? What's Sarah? Sarah, what's the present for Sarah? Letter C. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, it's letter gloves. Okay, how about Richard? What's the present for Richard? H. 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 And okay, it's letter F. Okay, very good. How about Betty? What's the present for Betty? C. It's letter. Very Three. good, Ken Ken. How about Robert? The present for Betty is. Uh, it's a scarf. How about Robert? B. Letter B. B. It's a CD. How about Lucy? What's the present for Lucy? Z. 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 Yeah, very good. It is the torch. The torch. Wow. You've got five over five again. Very good. Here, teacher will write another five over five. Very good. Yeah, hey, good job, Ken. Okay, so now here, okay, look at this one. Okay, next move. Oh, now you listen and check. We have here one example, okay? Okay, yeah, listen. Are you ready, Ken? Are you ready, Kwan? Yeah, Lion! Not my name now is Teacher Carrot. Okay, ready? Part four. Listen. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Jill do at the weekend? Hello, Jill. Did you enjoy your weekend at your aunt's? Yes, it was lovely. On Saturday, I went riding in the mountains. On your bike? No, on a horse. This one. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. My cousin is Jill's cousin. Who did you go with? My cousin, Ben. Oh yes, I know Ben. He's got brown hair and glasses, hasn't he? He wears glasses. His hair's blonde. Two. How did Jill go to her aunt's house? How did you go to your aunt's house? By car? No, because my dad was working and he couldn't take me. So did you go by bus? Ken, what is your problem? What is your problem? Okay, can you answer now? Yes! Okay, now, in the example, what did Jill do at the weekend? He is riding a... Oh. Yeah, very good. Next, number one. Which person is Jill's cousin? Where is this? Which do you think is Jill's cousin? Me. Me. Very good. Yay. Very good, Kwan. How did Jill go to her aunt's house? How? Me. Me. Go back. Me. Back. Let it's the bus. Oh, the bus, of course. Yay. Okay, lesson letter three. You listen, baby. You listen, baby. Which house is Jill? Listen. What's your aunt's house like? Oh, well, it's very big. Okay, Ken, what happened to Potato? Okay, to Potato. Put it okay, down. Okay, I again, again. That. Okay, put it to wants to sleep. Three. Which house is Jill's aunt's? What's your aunt's house like? Well, it's very big with three floors. That sounds nice. Yes, and it's got a garden with apple trees. Four. What did Jill and her cousin do? Did you eat any of the apples? No, they weren't sweet enough. Did you climb the trees then? No, my aunt doesn't let us. But we've got a swing on one of the trees. We played on that. Was it sunny on Saturday? No, it wasn't. Five. What time did Jill arrive home on Sunday? 
Did you come home on Sunday afternoon? Yes, I left early, at about half past one. How long did it take to get home? Oh, about two hours, so I got home at half past three. Okay, what's the answer to number three? Letter C. Very good. It's letter C. This is the house. Okay. How about, okay, the three-story with an apple tree. What did Jill and her cousins do? C. It's letter C. Very good. What time did Jill arrive home on Sunday? It's letter C. It's letter C. Oh, wow. Very good, Ken Ken. Why well, you're very smart. Very good, my dear. Love, love, teacher. Very good. Okay, now you listen and color. You tell teacher what do we need to color. Part five. SN. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Can you see the two trees? Yes. Well, color the leaves on the trees green. All of them. That's right. Can you see the green leaves? This is an example. Now you listen and color and draw. One. There are three butterflies in the picture. I see them. Draw some red stripes on the butterfly on the right. OK. OK, there is a butterfly here. OK, can you see that? There is a butterfly. <laughs> Next, I want to find the boy who's fishing. OK, Which where is one? the boy fishing? There are oh, three. I cannot see the Okay, yes. Wait, wait for well, a while. Look at the tallest okay, boy. I cannot see the, the face of the boy. It's so blurry. Here, these are the boy fishing. Part five. Hello. Okay, two. here. To listen. Next, I want you to find the boy who's fishing. Which one? There are three. Yes. Well, look at the tallest boy. Okay. And color his sweater blue. Yes. Okay, another move. Peter. Yes. Peter. Yeah. Peter. Yes, Ken. Yes, Juan. Look the picture is not clear, right? Look in the chat. Okay, in the chat. Nom nom, what is that? The baby, where is the baby now? Where is potato? Where is potato now? Potato is crying. Kent, potato is crying, Kent. Look in the, look in the, look in the chat. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. So look at here, teacher. There is first one. Draw the red stripes on the butterfly in the right. Color the sweater of the tallest boy fishing blue. Color the boat, both the swans black. So the two swans black, this one is color black. Color the shirts of the boy teaching the burnout. It's here. And you draw a bridge across the river between the boys who are fishing the swans. Okay, let us here. You will have to draw a river. Okay. You have to draw a river here. There is a, a bridge here. Okay, that's the bridge. Let me help you color. Okay, you help me color. Okay. The butterfly fly on the left green. Okay, you color. Thank you, Ken Ken. Red. Hello, the butterfly on the left red. Okay, go Ken. Do you color? I don't have any color. 
maroon. Okay, you tell teacher what's the color? It's color red. So the butterfly on the left, red. On the left. Up, up, up. Yeah. That one. Erase the one you are draw you are drawing. Okay, look at this. Teacher. Yes. I want to go poo poo. Okay, next. What's next, Ken? You tell me what's the next color. Color the boy is it's between the two boys is fishing. Color his sweater brown. Color the color the ball is, color the ball is the boy hand pink. Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Are we finished? Are we finished? Okay. We I just... finished. Okay. Almost we're finished. What's next? You color this one. So what's the color of this one? Black. Okay. Yeah. Here. Okay. Okay. Thank you for helping me. Ken, Ken. What's next, Ken? Finish. Color the shirt of the boy teaching the ball brown. What's that? Where's the boy here? Ah, this one. What's the okay, just a minute. Okay. Okay. So now, Ken, Ken, we don't have here. Look at this one. Blue, red, black, the bridge, the brown. Okay. So for now, Ken, okay, look at the shirt. Teacher will give a homework. Listen, listen to teacher yet. Okay, you have to give teacher a homework. Homework, okay? Teacher will give homework, okay? Okay. I will send it in Zalo. Teacher will give homework. Okay, bye-bye to the baby. Bye-bye to the baby. Bye-bye, potato. Bye-bye, potato. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, good night, baby potato. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, teacher. Okay, very cute. Bye bye. Bye bye, potato. Bye bye, potato. Bye bye, Putito. Putito, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Putito. Bye bye.